and today I'm going to be doing another story. This story is made up just like Ellie's first sleepover story. If you like that video, please check this video out because it's going to be similar to that. And if you have not checked this, that video out, go and check it out after you've watched this video. This story is called The Magic Dress. And I'm sorry if this story has a few mistakes, but I'll try my best. The Magic Dress Once in a village called Maria lived a girl named Amy. Amy was six years old and really wanted to fly just like a butterfly. Amy had saved up a little bit of money from doing jobs for her mum. On a rainy day, Amy was counting her pocket money. One pound, one pound twenty, two pounds, two pounds thirty, three pounds, three pounds eighty, four pounds, four pounds fifteen, four, four pounds forty, Five pounds, five pound fifty four, five pound fifty two, six pounds, seven, six pound four, six pound forty, seven pounds, seven pounds twenty, seven pounds forty, eight pounds fifty, eight pounds fifty. She put she put it all into a small bag, making sure that she got all her money. What can I buy with this money? Maybe I can go to a shop and see if there's anything that might help me to fly. Well, pretend to fly, she said. Like a pair of fairy wings, she thought, and ran downstairs to her mum. Her mum was making sandwiches. Cheese sandwiches. Mama, can we please go to the shop? Um, I, can I have a look? to see if there's anything I really want and that I like she, ex she asked okay darling when we've had our dinner well a few 20 minutes later Amy and her mum were outside in the shops Emily Amy found a dress, it said, portion, flying. It was seven pounds. It was seven pounds 43. Mum, this is what I like. It has fairy wings on the back, she said, bringing it to her mum. OK, let's go and pay. Her mum had picked up a few things too, like... Three packets of sweeties, a hairbrush, and a small bit of a small notebook. Hello, I'd like to pay for that dress and these things, she said, taking the dress from Amy and putting it on this on the till. There you go, said a nice long, young lady in a black skirt and some red and a red top. Thank you, said Amy's mum. And they both walked outside. When Emily got home, well, sorry, when Amy got home, she put on the dress. She felt a strange flap in her back. She jumped and was fluttering around her bedroom. I can fly, she squealed and landed on her bed. Ouch! Thank goodness that was a bed, she she whispered to herself. I can fly when I've got the dress on, Amy said. Wow, she thought again and sat on her bed thinking about being able to fly and having so much fun all day. The next day, Amy, Amy's friend Emily came along. Emily had a magic dress too. 
They fluttered. Amy's dress was purple. Emily's dress was pink. They fluttered all around the bedroom until Emily's mum came to pick her up. The end. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. I'm sorry that I made a few mistakes, but I hope that you enjoy the story. And if you do, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, like my videos and share. Because if you share, it gets more people to view it. And the viewers, likes and subscribers I have are so much appreciated. Bye.